Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic area. And for this lesson, we're going to look at the units that are used for area and how we do the unit conversion. So we have a few questions to help us with illustrations on how to do unit conversions when it comes to the units that are used for area. And of course, at the end of the lesson, we'll give you some assignment just to help you practice on, uh, on what you are going to discuss. Uh, we're going to discuss during this, this particular lesson. So uh, what does it mean when you talk about area? So area is defined as a uh, plane shape. I mean, uh, as the amount of surface enclosed within given boundary. So if you have a shape or a plane shape, or a uh, plane figure, then uh, the amount of, 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 of surface that is enclosed within the boundaries of that figure, so what you are calling uh, you're calling area. So, for example, if you have a figure like this one here, you see, this space here is what you're calling the area, the amount of, so we have this boundary, maybe the boundary AB, we have the boundary AC and BC, so all these are three boundaries, so what is the amount of surface enclosed within the three boundaries, you know, that is what we are calling that is what you are calling. Uh, so we have also the SI unit used for area. So area is usually measured in square units. And we have the SI unit of area as the square meter. So remember previously when we were talking about length, we mentioned square uh, SI unit. So the SI unit of area is square. square meter. So square meter is written as m squared. That is the standard unit of measuring of measuring area. But generally, area is measured in square units. So you could talk of square centimeters, square meters, square millimeters, you know, like square centimeters, these ones, square millimeters, square kilometers, just the same units that we used in uh, length, they can also be used in area, but now square units. So the other time we're talking about centimeters, we talked about millimeters, now we talk of square units. So square centimeters, square millimeters, square kilometers, and so on and so forth. So for example, now if you have the square, I mean uh, a square of... Uh, of side five centimeters you know so if you have a square and then each side is one centimeter you know then the area of this square will be this times that which will be one square centimeter you know so if there are many like maybe two we'll talk of two square centimeters so and then again again if you have a square of side one meter it has an area of one square meter so let's say you have a square here this is one meter and the other one is one meter so the area here will be one times one which is one square one square meter so if there are many like we say total it will be four square meters as we're going to see later on so this is with regards to the units that are used for measuring areas we use square units so it could be square centimeters, square millimeters, square kilometers, and so on and so forth, something like that. So what does a square unit mean? Of course, you've talked about, for example, if you have, we say one square meter means um, one meter times one meter. So a meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters, and therefore, this one meter here is converted to 100 centimeters and the other meter is also converted to 100 centimeters. If you multiply the two, you get 10,000 centimeter times a centimeter is a, a square, a square centimeter. The same applies to, to one square kilometer. That is one kilometer times one kilometer and the kilometer can be converted to 100 meters, I mean 1,000 meters and 1,000 meters, this other one. This one we convert one meters down here, I mean, 
the one kilometer we convert to a thousand meters and the other one kilometer we convert to 1000 meters so if you multiply this 1000 times this 1000 it is 1 million the meter times the meter is a square meter we also have this unit here called r so one r is 100 square meters you know so 10 meters times 10 meters one hectare again those are special actually these two we call them special units so now have one r is a hundred square meter surface and one hectare is also 10 or uh, 10,000 square square meter surface or or, or 100 100 hours so we want to see a few questions involving that and we have the first one here we're supposed to be converting the 200 square centimeters to to square meters so last time when we were talking about prefixes used for unit conversion we mentioned that this c here stands for centi which has a factor of 0 0.01 you know so one centimeter stands for 0 0.01 meters if you remove the c there you replace it by 0 0.01 and so if you square one centimeter squared is going to be 0 0.01 meter times 0 0.01 meter you know so one square centimeter is equals to 0 0.0001 four four decimal places so just multiply one times one four decimal places of a square meter that is why you can decide to multiply both sides by 10,000 to remove the decimal point so that we have one square meter is equal to 10,000. So another way of stating this is saying that one square meter is 10,000 square centimeters. That is if I multiply both sides by, by 10,000. The other side I will get just one square meter and this other side I will get 10,000 square centimeters. You see. So it depends on what you are looking for so here now i have 200 square centimeters 200 square centimeters is equivalent to how many square meters so this is going to be 200 we multiply by 0 0.0001 and then you divide by one so this will be will be two times 0 0.01 the two zeros here will be used to move the decimal point to the right two steps or two places. So this is 0 0.02 uh, square square meters. So it's just a matter of multiplying two by one, I mean two here by one, and then you count the number of decimal places which are supposed to be two. So zero in the first number and two decimal places in the second number. So we have 0 0.02 square meters again we have this which you are supposed to convert to the, the 3.4 hectares this ha here stands for hectares it's a unit used for area so you know area can be measured in square units but we also have the special units like the hectares and the as you know so hectares here stands for A hundred by a hundred meters, you know. So we say ten thousand square meter surface is what a hectare is. So we talk of one hectare is equivalent to ten thousand ten thousand square meters. What about three point four hectares? This will be equivalent to what value? So this will be 3.4 so this will be 3.4 you multiply by 10,000 so you take this one here you multiply by that then you divide by this so 10,000 and then you divide by 1 so these zeros will move the decimal point to the right four steps and that will be 3 4 first zero will move the decimal point from where it is up to some point maybe in front of 4 be somewhere there 
then the three zeros will just be added. So that will be 34,000. Yeah, that will be 34,000 square meters. So we have uh, this one here again. We're supposed to convert the 9,000 square meters to hectares. So one hectare should be equal to 9,000. I mean, uh, 10,000 square meters. What about... So now this is square meter. So you try to write the same units on the same side. So this, the square meters now will not write them on this side, no. So I'll write the 9,000 on the other side. You see, what is it equivalent to? So that is 9,000. So you multiply this, you multiply by that, you divide by this. So times one over 10,000. So this uh, the three zeros down here, we'll move the decimal point now to the left instead of to the right. Remember when you're dividing by power of 10, the decimal point moves to the the left but when you are multiplying by the powers of 10 like we saw in the previous example the decimal point moves to the right again you have to get to know where the decimal point for a whole number is so the decimal point is here so you move the decimal point backwards four steps one two three four so that is going to be 0 0.9 hectares okay So that is the end. We have a few questions here to help you just practice on what you've been learning during this lesson. You can always attempt them and then post the response in the comment section. We'll look at them and we'll be able to give feedback in the view code. Otherwise, that is all for now. Until next time, goodbye.